Start the next one that is keratitis. Keratitis. <clears throat> it's an inflammatory disease that affects our cornea. Cornea keratitis, inflammation of cornea, right? Okay, what is going to be the presenting complaint? It's going to be severe eye pain. Patient will be having severe eye pain, right? So severe eye pain, we have got in some other conditions as well, like ankle closure glaucoma, or it is in scleritis as well. So, okay, eye pain. Keratitis, it could be bacterial, could be uh, like viral as well, maybe a herpetic keratitis. So how to differentiate? It might be a very tricky situation for us to uh, differentiate, but uh, uh, let's see, let's see. So eye pain, elaborate eye pain, you know how to do Socrates. Then you ask for other symptoms as well. First you go for open questions, you go for closed questions as well. Then you ask for like, uh, uh, tell me more. So what are the other things that you will see? Patient might have when they have keratitis. So redness, that is really important. Watering in the eye, blurring of vision, photophobia. That is really, really important. Acute angle closure glaucoma. What are the things that you will see there? Acute angle closure glaucoma. So eye pain is there. Color halos around the light. That is what you will see that we know. Scleritis. Eye pain is there. Blurring of vision is there. A lot of things are same. But, but. You know, if you see there is a history of other connective tissue disorder like RA, patient is taking methotrexate for RA, that is actually going towards scleritis. Here, I'm not saying you can't see it at all, but it's less likely uh, that you will see in keratitis. Keratitis, what you will see, uh, mainly you will see the patient is saying, I am wearing contact lenses. This is very, very important history. Uh, if you get it, like I'm having, I'm, I'm using contact lenses. That is very important. It might be a reason for bacterial keratitis. That is really important. Do not miss this thing. See, conjunctivitis, keratitis. What will be the differentiating feature? Keratitis, eye pain, severe eye pain. Conjunctivitis, eye discomfort not pain usually. So history of contact lenses might be there. Now, how will I differentiate it is herpetic keratitis or any bacterial keratitis? You will get a history of herpes, maybe genital herpes. Patient had a history of cold sores. See, when in the beginning, in the first one or two minutes, you got the idea, I'm looking for keratitis or maybe scleritis. But when you didn't get any history of connective tissue disorder, then you're like, okay, looks like keratitis. You need to ask for contact lens. You need to ask for any previous history of cold sore, any history of genital herpes. That will be the most important point. Now, a lot of candidates say, okay, if I directly ask about genital herpes or cold sore, I might sound scripted. Why? Come on, why? See, we know it's keratitis. According to the history, I actually came to a, my couple of differentials, keratitis, scleritis. So I know it's keratitis, but uh, what is the source behind? What's the reason? What's the risk factor behind? Is it bacterial or viral? Bacterial or viral? I need to find out. If a person had genital herpes, in the lifetime, they are prone to get herpes infection anywhere in the body. Whether it is cold sore, whether it is genital herpes. So there's no harm in asking that, right? Okay, and uh, eye examination, fundoscopy or visual acuity, you can check because they can have blurring of vision, they can have slight loss of vision as well, yeah? So, uh, otherwise to confirm, what we have to do is the culture, corneal uh, staining, culture uh, scrapping you can do and then you can check it or the staining, that is what you can do because see, patient has got severe pain. If the history is making it very clear and you understood it's a bacterial or viral, you can treat it, but if it is not very clear, then uh, you need to do the staining and you need to take the sample and check it as well. Immediate, immediately you need to treat it. Immediate referral and treatment is painkiller. Patient is having pain, so make sure you give painkillers. And then what is going to be the specific uh, treatment? Specific treatment you can only do when you know the cause behind it, isn't it? So if you think it's a um, Patient got a history of uh, like contact lens and or mostly it's going for you, it's going towards uh, antibiotics. So it's like uh, antibiotics eye drops. That's what you can do. If it is antiviral, then you go for antiviral like uh, eye drops. Yeah, it's a herpetic uh, uh, keratitis, for example, right? Uh, inflammation is there. That's true. So steroid, that is what you need to give. Steroid is going to be very helpful in uh, decreasing the inflammation. Make sure to take good hygiene. You take good eye care. That is really, 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 really important. 
Yeah. So again, patient presenting complaint is eye pain. Eye pain, what does it mean? It means we are actually going towards keratitis or scleritis. Connective tissue disorder, contact lenses, any genital herpes or cold sore. This history, if you take, you'll have your diagnosis because at the end of the day, you need to understand who we are. FY2, come on. So they want to be making it so tough. I'm not an ophthalmologist. I think uh, you are also not ophthalmologist. Of course, you can be an ophthalmologist in future, but for now, we are FY2. And as an FY2, if I've got this much of uh, information, it's more than enough, right? Report. Uh, again, uh, reporting to the DVLA, what the guideline says, if it is uh, affecting the vision of the patient, blurring of vision, they should be informing DVLA as well, right? Safety netting, again, if the vision loss is getting worse, if there's there and if this eye pain is getting worse, come to the hospital. But as I said, you're admitting this patient, then what are you going to say to the patient? Uh, let us know, right? Ice, biggest friend, yeah? Please don't miss ice. Check and check, give the information bits and pieces. And uh, then check the understanding. Summarize, acknowledge, acknowledge. I can see you are concerned. I can see you are in a lot of pain. Please don't forget to give painkillers. Signposting, active listening. Yeah. See, uh, active listening means you have to listen and, you know, show that I'm here for you. That impression, if you can show, you will, you will do well. Leaflets, that's the thing. Will I go blind? Again, acknowledge it and tell the patient that it is an inflammation. And of the cornea, it is treatable and we can treat like this, yeah? And uh, when will I get better? So it may take uh, like a few days or a couple of weeks. That's how we can say, yeah? Up to now. <clears throat> so this is what you have to do if you get a station on keratitis. Could be bacterial, could be herpetic keratitis. All right, good. Good.